Yes. Sister, the name they gave to you, why did they give you that name? Number two, the person they named you after, what were some of the things the person went through? Yes, you can have a nice name. Emmanuel, God is with us. But the person, the, what was the reason why your father named you that name? Oh, I saw somebody, the person, was, but what did the person go through? Names are powerful. Never joke with names. Jabez said, oh God, change my name. And the mother said, I name you Jabez because I gave birth to you in pain. And the word Jabez simply means pain. He said, God, don't let me cause pain. And every day of his life, there was pain everywhere because of that name. What name did they give to you? I said, what name did they give to you? We see Samson shining, becoming great. Because the word Samson in the Hebrew is translated as Simpson. And Simpson means sunshine. So Samson becoming a great guy, his name meant sunshine. So anywhere Samson goes, he was shining. So before he becomes the loss of Samson, check his name. One day, Jesus called the guy and said, Out of the 12 disciples, I will make you my top, my leader. What's the name of the guy? Peter. He says, Upon you, I will build my church. Do you know the reason? Because the name Peter comes from the Hebrew word Petros. And the word Petros means a rock. He says, you are the rock. I will build my church on you. One of the disciples, you all know his name. You call him Doubting. Thomas. Doubting. Thomas. Do you know the reason why he was a doubter? The word doubt, Thomas in the Greek is translated, is translated as Didymos. It says Didymos. Didymos. And Didymos means a wind. So when your life is a wind, you doubt. That's why he was a doubting Thomas. My God, Jesus Moses was a deliverer. Do you know why he became a deliverer? Because his name, the moment Pharaoh's daughter picked him from the river, she said, I will call him Moses because I drew him out from the water. So the word Moses means to draw out. So God said, I will use you to draw my people out of yes, Egypt. Lord. Names are powerful. What is your name? What is your name? And sometimes, sometimes, sometimes the dangerous names, hear me, the dangerous names are not the names in your passport. Are not the names, but hear me, they are, I'm about to say something right now that will shock so many people. Can I tell you? Now, did some, the dangerous, can I tell you right now? Yes. Man of God, the dangerous name is not the name on your birth certificate. It is the name people call you in their bedrooms. Whatever that you explained to me, I'm glad you asked me. Can I still tell you? When they sit in their bedroom and they mention your name, do they say that the guy who cannot have a job, that sister who is struggling, they know you're looking for the fruit of the womb. Maybe in their house they say that, ah, that's barren lady. The name they call you behind the scenes sometimes, if you're not careful, it will become your reality. What names do they call you in their bedrooms? And some people have some coded names they name people, and you don't know. Onokwa, Obesradie. And the more they say that, it becomes your reality. But if people sit behind the scenes, ah, if people are sat behind the scenes and they've been naming you wrongly by the blood of Jesus, I came to rename you. I came to rename you. I came to rename you. I delete the wrong names. I change your name. I move your name to the next realm. May God bless your destiny. 